is Natasha aka Tash Archeo from Behind the Trowel and I'm a commercial field archaeologist based in the UK. Something I get asked a lot on social media is what do I take to site? What do I need? We have my bag which is the bare essentials but I like to call it the urban the urban digger and then we have my colleagues bag here and this is like everything you need is in this bag everything if you are on a rural site especially and you're generally working by yourself in the middle of nowhere okay you get my gist this is what you want okay because you can't just walk up to the cabin and back again all the time or try to find the tools sometimes especially with a lot of um, companies you need to bring your own stuff otherwise you spend half your time looking for equipment so I'm going to show you both First of all, COVID-19. Hi, sanitizer. I'm not going to wear gloves. Maybe I should wear gloves. I'm fine. Okay, so first thing that we have in the bag of goodies. Kneeling pad. We have these type of kneeling pads. This is hers. It's actually very nice and comfortable. We have these ones. Depends. Yeah, so kneeling pad. Some people have the inside the trousers. Anyway, then we have tape. 30 meters is good. I'm not sure how much, how long this is, but tape. Hand tape. You normally get three meters, but to be honest, five meters to eight meters is your best bet. You should always really have a good one. Eight meters is the best. They're heavier, but they are like durable and you can measure from a long distance, etc. Of course, trowel, leaf trowel. Scissors! <laughs> I got a bit too excited there. <laughs> it's always good to have a pair of these. Or, you could even get like a pen knife, but you've got to be careful with pen knives. Um, she's actually got this really cool tool here, which is great. I mean, you've got everything. You've got a little hammer, put your nails in, put your section line in. And she also has, I think, scissors in here as well. But anyway, she's got a little hammer. This is a very good idea. When it comes to sections, you're going to need nails. These are really the nice ones. I'm not sure how long, that's probably what, 15 centimeters long? These are great. Minimum four, I would say. I always carry four nails with me. And then, my colleague here has nails and then string line and a plumb bob in the mix. This is kind of your go-to skelly kit. So we have a spoon, tweezers, in the great actually, plastic ones, okay. And then we have these wooden tools. Now these are a must if you're going to be dealing with human remains, animal remains, any sort of sort of skeleton. Even pottery, they're great. Again, skeletons, the little ones especially. These ones you can use for masonry and skellies. Oh, a brush. This is like a shoe brush, but these are this is really good. You want something with hard bristle. Ooh, get a there. Anyway, I hope I remember how to put this back. Then we get on to, no, I'll do that last. Now with this, just note that some companies do not allow it. It's part of their, their policy, health and safety policy, and other construction sites, they don't allow it either. So it just depends where you are. But generally, rural sites, you'll get away with it. Clips. You can never have enough clips. <laughs> Really, I normally have them on my high vis, on my bag, trousers. I have them everywhere. You need them all the time. What else do we have? Oh, she has a little hand shovel. These are great. Post holes. Stationery. So, Sharpie. Finds labels. Black biros and pencils. Six H. And uh, it's really good to have this, this little eraser topper. Especially between sections. And then of course, sharpener and 
and a razor. Oh. Notepad. You need a notepad. And that's it. That's what's inside my colleague's bag here. Ta da That's what you need, basically. I think it's the most organised site bag I have ever seen. So, that is the rural bag. So here is my site bag. It's a waterproof quicksilver shoulder bag. It's very light. I don't know if you can see me, but it's very light and convenient. Now, about a week ago, I broke my water bottle that I used to clip. I used to clip it here and I used to have my water bottle hanging out. But I broke it, so I need a new one. Okay, inside my bag. So for me, hand cream, hand sanitizer, lip balm, and tissues. That's what I keep in here. Need to wash my hands. Gloves. That would have been handy earlier. What do I have in here? Ah, my nails. So I keep my nails here because they're really like big ones so and I have four of these and I keep them in there right now I have one I don't know where they've gone it's fine I've got a stash at home okay gloves PPE so I travel a lot with work and I never know where I'm going to be so I really try to keep it as, as light as possible trowel the bigger the better and sturdy it has to be steel WH trials for life. Okay. I have two hand tapes. I have this three meter one and I have my eight meter one, but that's on site. So hand tape. Fines labels with a border clip. Okay. You need fines labels. This is like gold on site. Right. This is what you trade with. What else do I have in here? Yep, yeah, so pair essentials. I actually have a compass but nowadays you can just use your phone or just the maps but this was from when I was on a rural site I needed a compass. Or was I in a basement? Was I in a basement? Anyway, compass. Plum bob. You need this. You can get really big ones. I have a larger ones at home but this one is perfect for me. And it's on a little bit of pipe. And if you're desperate for some string, get some string. String. I have more, but again, it's in a wall right now. And then I have some small little nails. This had a lid. I don't know what happened to the lid. Anyway, that's that. Safety glasses. These are my sunglasses. Sun safety glasses and anti-shatter thing. Anti-shatter, yeah. That's my PPE. What else do I have? Notebook, eraser. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Stationery now, so Sharpie, black biros. Never have enough biros. And I also have a few pencils, but I've only got one on me right now. And as you can see, I've got this little chopper. It's actually a uh, compliment of Toria. She gave me this. So thank you, Toria. Technically, she gave it to Michaela, and then I'm just using Michaela's stationery. Urban archaeologist, y'all. At chalk, so sometimes we need to write on chalkboards, so that gives us the information, you know, the site name, context numbers, uh, the direction, we have to show where the North Arrow is. Some sites have the plastic letters and you're going to put it on that board, that takes ages. Ages. Scissors. What else do I have? Oh, I have another nail. Oh, yes. Yes. Wine level. I do have a metal one that I normally use, and I'm not sure why this one's in here. There's a reason, but you can. The metal ones are better. Uh, Stanley metal. You get on Amazon. I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description. But these are so good, and the metal ones are worth it. The plastic ones they break all the time, like this bit. And this always breaks. Sad times. Um, that's it. Wow. Oh, and I have ear defenders. Again, as I said, construction site. You need to, yeah, concrete. Like you in here, yeah, two. That is actually all that's inside my bag. That's it. That's what I have. That's my bag. 
Bulldog clips. Bulldog clips. Bulldog clips. These bad boys, you need them, okay? And they go. Like, if you're not careful, they will go. Um, why do you need them? Long tape, especially, to clip them onto each grid peg or iron rod. So, yeah, you need them. All of this you can get from past preservers. No, sorry. Past horizons. As you noticed, um, I don't have some more specialist equipment. Not even a leaf trial. I, don't, I, I won't travel with that. Um, I might bring it to the site if I know that I'm going to need it, but I, I won't go on my first day with it. I just make it myself for essentials. Yeah, that's my hair. Tash Archeo Edition. <laughs> Uh, FYI, generally, de depends really where you are, but they will give you a, a board to write on. These are actually raw drawing boards, and you will see that for an A4 size, you can see the permatrace hanging over. So that's why we use these larger ones. This is the A4 size. But these are great, a lot of people carry the, um, have a photo board with them, so it's up to you. I just use the side one. What else? I think that's it. I'm gonna go eat now. <laughs> if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. And you can find me on Instagram, Tash underscore Archeo. That is where I am posting daily life of an archaeologist.